discussed this morning is we've got the inside living room space of the home mostly set up and we still need to do some customization but we got our pictures up and mostly cleaned up so that's good but in order for me to go to work tomorrow I have got to get the satellite installed and so I am going to be using um, a flagpole buddy system here's some poles from the flagpole buddy um, I think this setup for Starlink specifically was like 200 bucks or something or 100 169 bucks or something you can look on their website and see but uh, it's pretty slick it's got uh, this mount which will go on the bottom of the ladder to hold the pole at the bottom it's got a hole through it so you could even put a cable through it I don't know that I will do that in this case I might just zip tie my cable to the line which is probably what I'm going to do and it's got this piece that goes up higher so when you want to put your pole through and mount your unit up on top um, you just kind of go like this and that'll hold it so that way you don't have to climb up on the ladder it'll be really super slick and I've got a 12 foot uh, pole that I bought so it has uh, four or three of the four foot sections um, and uh, then it come the the flagpole buddy for Starlink comes with a fancy Starlink 3d printed coupler that uses the connection from the Starlink and uh, and then attaches to the top of the pole and it says flagpole buddy Starlink on it so Pretty idiot proof that way, which is good. <laughs> so I'm gonna go out and mount these to the pole. We'll see you in a minute. Something I decided to do, which they did not tell me to do in the instructions, but just seems like a smart move to me, is I have some blue thread locker that I use for my biking stuff. And I put it on the tips of these screws so that once I put this together, it's not gonna come off. At least not easily. I don't want, as I'm bouncing down the road, these things to unscrew and have my flagpole buddy go into the ditch somewhere. So, I put some blue thread locker on the ends of those screws. That's good. Hey there. So, um, on the side of my rig, and this is a full house DRV in case you haven't been following our channel yet. Um, but on a full house or any toy hauler, you're going to find most of the time the ladder is going to be mounted on the side because obviously it can't be mounted to the door. Otherwise, you'll be able to get up there when the door is open. So, um, I've already extended mine. And actually, I need to pin this, which I haven't done yet, but I'll do that before I climb up. But in the meantime, I can mount the bottom one. And uh, I've already put the thread locker on the screws. And uh, they had told me in the manual for, for Flagpole Buddy to mount the bottom one five feet from the ground. And I'm six feet tall, so I'm going to basically mount it here at eye level for me. That's going to be about five feet from the ground. And I wanted to mount it on this side. I could also mount it on this side. Maybe that would be better. The main key is I want it to be kind of out of the wind. So maybe this is better. What do you think, Dan? Mm. Because when we're going down the road, this will be out of the direct. It might be bumps. better because of the ladder. It's going to hit the ladder first and kind of go around it, I would yeah, think. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, too. Yeah, yeah let's I'm do that. First of all, to hold the screw in when you're first putting it in, because it's indexed in there as well. But also to give you a little bit of friction once you tighten this down, would be my guess. So I'm a righty, so I'm gonna be putting them on, I'm gonna put this in to begin with before I flip it around, otherwise I'm liable to. Do you need me to hold it or are you okay? What I do need though is that, which is down there. 
Hey there, so uh, when I'm screwing stuff in, I don't always, I, I never use the tools they supply. It came with some little crappy tools. I always use these premium tools because this one's got the little round head on it so I can hit it at any angle. And I vastly prefer that. It makes it much, much easier for me. So I got an index screw on the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and just put this baby in. And uh, once I get this one in, then I'll do the other four. And you won't have to watch me do that because if you don't know how to put a screw in, then probably this project isn't for you. <laughs> anyway, so that's that for that one. You can turn it off on. So we are at this RV park in Harrisburg, and we have these fun little ducks that just seem to want to come and visit us all the time, and they don't seem too afraid of humans. We call this one Gary. Hi, Gary. How you doing? You having a good morning? See, he just walks right over to me like it's no big deal. He won't let me pet him, but he doesn't mind saying hello. <laughs> there's like four, there's like three or four of them around here. This one seems to be very, very much not afraid of humans. He, he comes right up to you. He won't let you pet him, but he will come up to you. It's pretty funny. Look at that little waggle butt. <laughs> So I realized my mistake. I had the thing facing directly back and because of the way it mounts, you have to put it in at a 45 degree angle and swing it up and put it into this, this cup. So I obviously cannot do that. If it's, sticking, if it's sticking back this way, I can't actually angle it into the coach and I can't come from the other side either. So what I've decided to do is put it at a 45 degree angle. So that way it's only maybe sticking out maybe an inch and a half from the side of the rig um, and I'll angle it back across this corner to get it into the spot but that way it's not sticking out much because I'm already probably legally this ladder actually violates the law because this rig's already the maximum width and then this ladder sticks out a good two and a half and three inches or something and so I don't want to make more of a law problem so so I'm going to angle it at 45 degrees. So I have mounted the Flagpole Buddy Starlink adapter to the one of the sections of the pole. And now I'm going to put the pole sections together. And obviously I think the, the default um, Starlink pole setup is like, uh, oh, that's tighter than I thought. Oh, that's right. There's one on each side. Ha! It's not tighter than I thought. It's just got to be smarter than the pole. Uh, there you anyway, go. Anyway, the default one comes with only two of these sections, which, boy, I didn't angle that as much as I thought I did. I think I pushed it wrong when I was working on it up there, because now it's not. Yeah. See that? Yeah. I mean, I might be able to get it on. Yeah, I can do it. Oh, cool. But see, it's not even hardly clearing the, the top, so I knew that. So that's why I did the, the third section with this because I knew that this rig was super tall, 13 feet tall, so I knew I'd better go with the biggest that I could manage. So uh, so I figured 12 feet of pole. Remember, there's two of them. <laughs> yeah, I did it on the other side now. This time I am smarter than the pole. Okay, so there's that. And then we got our fancy Starlink dish. This time, I confirmed 100% <laughs> there's there is no, no cardboard, cardboard on, on here. <laughs> so, if you haven't, if you don't know what I'm talking about, because this is the first time you're seeing our channel, you can go back and watch our Starlink video, which will be linked in the description below, where I talk about how I set this up the very first time with this piece of cardboard that had literally matched it, anti magic screened onto the front of this thing, and I couldn't, uh, I didn't even know it was on there. And, and you can laugh at us and how yeah. ridiculous we looked trying to get the thing to work with a piece of cardboard on it that we didn't know was there. It was, we laughed about it for like 10 minutes afterwards. It was really funny. I was expecting that little latch to come out a little further, but it really doesn't. I guess it's on there though. It's not, it's not coming off. Well, it's not like we're going to have that up there when we... When we uh, travel, it'll just be the pole. Oh, yeah, of course. Well, 
probably helps if you let it un unwind a little bit before you try to put it up there. There it is. Uh, get off of here. I thought it would be super fancy using this, this cord wheel. And maybe it would be if I had done it first. Ooh. It's kind of wiggly wiggly when it gets up there. That's why we're not leaving the pole up there while we're traveling. Well, duh. Because <laughs> it just would be bad news. Okay, I guess that's that. I was kind of expecting this little thing to index into some sort of hole. It just kind of keeps it from moving. So what? Well, if it gets really windy, we might yeah, have to come does, out here. It does recommend if it's real windy that you pull it down. Come out here and pull it down. So I will do that. It is pretty windy today. I don't know if you can tell. But it's not windy enough that it's really moving all that much. I think it said something like 20 miles an hour or 25 miles an hour. So if you get some, if you get some winds that are pretty severe, then you definitely want to take it down. Hopefully I don't have to do that though, because uh, this is literally my one and only internet solution at the moment. What and about the um, T-Mobile box? Well, the T-Mobile box is at the house right now. Right, but once we once we sell it, then we can move the T-Mobile box here and use that as a backup. Theoretically, yeah. So now I'm just going to unwind this a little bit. Oh, hold on, you're uh, completely blurry. There we go. Now I see you. I do need to get up there and zip tie this. I don't want these to lay in super loose. I might want right. to get some Velcro strips instead of zip ties. Right. If I do zip ties, I'm going to be cutting them all the time. Right. I can put that on my Walmart some list. Velcro strips would be much better because then I can just pull Yeah, them. I can put that on the Walmart list. Okay, so I went and already pre-opened up this back end so that I could see where... You want to get over here? Are you, are you videoing right now still? Yes, I am. Uh, so on this side, there's, a, there's this uh, kind of angle iron part here and this... Uh, this stuff and there's plenty of room between here and the wall and so the cord won't have to make a very severe angle from the top there's a very severe angle so I'm not really interested in that um, so I'm gonna put this in right here and just kind of set this reel up on top of here for now um, and put that in there too get all the rest of that cord in there So the satellite is currently calibrating. It'll probably take about 15, 20 minutes because it's the first time at this new location. And I've got it mounted on the flagpole buddy with a 12 foot pole. And I went ahead and ran the wire through the side here because there wasn't much of a curve. And so it's, it's going in through the weather stripping right there. And there's actually plenty of room for that wire, so I'm not pinching it in any way. And then it kind of rolls into the inside, so uh, should be good to go. I'd be curious to see what my signal is going to be like. It's, this has a 0% obstruction. So it's been less than 10 minutes. The satellite is already angled towards the north where I did it before at our house, just to 20 miles to the south. And I ran a speed test just a few minutes ago, and I got 150 down, and I think it was 17 up. So very, very good speeds. I'm very pleased. The latency is around 40, so not terrible. It's similar to the T-Mobile home device that we had at home, and I never really experienced any issues with that. So we are not going to be getting the 600 that I was getting with T-Mobile, but uh, considering we're out in, you know, kind of the, I mean, we're close to the freeway here, but, you know, we're, we're a ways out. We're not in town in any, any way, shape, or form. Uh, according to T-Mobile's website, there was no service here at all. So uh, I wasn't willing to take the risk, and I figured I'd use my satellite for that purpose. Anyway, thanks, guys. Thanks for watching the channel. Like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and uh, ring the bell for notifications. Thanks much and have a wonderful day. Bye.